Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Prompt Engineering for Developers course, where in this video, we'll be discussing how you can solve real life problems or daily life scenarios using GitHub Copilot in your Visual Studio code. So yeah, I have just selected two to three examples, which we will be implementing in this video today. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so here I am with my Visual Studio code open. So yeah, first of all, let's just create a new file. We're gonna select language as Python today. All right, so for the first example, let's just go up uh, very simple. I'm just gonna tell him to create me a multiplication table uh, from one to 10, just to see like if uh, it's gonna do that for us or not. So let me just give it a prompt. Create me a multiplication table from one to 10. So let's just hit enter and see what kind of output or suggestion is going to give it to us. Okay, yeah, so it seems like our code has been completed. So let's just go ahead and see the output of that if we are getting the correct output for that that we desire. So I'm just going to hit F5 to see the output of this code. All right, so yeah, as you guys can see, we did get an output for the multiplication table from 1 to 10. So yeah, first of all, we have multiplication table of 1, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 10. Then we have for 2, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, until 20. Then we have similarly for 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. So yeah, this was a basically a very simple example just to get you guys an idea that how this is gonna work. So let's just go ahead and move to a little bit more complex example, a complex daily life scenario. So yeah, I'm just gonna remove that and put in my second prompt, which will be create a function that takes length of a square. So it will take length from the user and it will return the area of that square for us. So let's just hit enter and see what kind of suggestion we're gonna get out of that. All right, so seems like our code has been completed. First of all, we just define the square area with length inside as parameter, as you can see over here as well. Then we have return values of length into length, which is basically the formula for area of the square. And after that, at last, obviously we do need that to print those values. So we just print your square area with the value as five. All right, so now let's just hit F5 and see the output of this code. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, we did get a value as 25, which is correct value for the length of the square as 5. So yeah, seems like a code is working absolutely fine. So yeah, for the last example, let's just go for a bit of a complex one where we will develop a class called as bank account that will actually represent a bank account altogether and it will show all its attributes such as account number, balance, and you know, account holder. So yeah, uh, we'll actually be creating kind of a bank account through different prompts via GitHub Copilot. All right, let me just remove that. And yeah, first prompt I'm just gonna give it to this would be develop a class called bank account that represents a bank account. It shows attributes such as account number, balance, and account holder. And we'll also be implementing methods to deposit money, withdraw money, and check account balance. So yeah, let's just hit enter and see what kind of suggestion is going to give it to us. All right, so seems like our code has been completed. First of all, we just created a class of bank account for us. And after that, it just defined some of the values that we want in, which will be account number, balance, and account holder. And after that, it just in initialized all those values here uh, in separate functions. So yeah, after that, uh, we can do one more thing. We can prompt it once again to initialize uh, the class and print the data using methods. All right, so yeah, let me just go ahead and do that. So let me just hit enter and see what kind of output now is going to give it to us. All right, so seems like our code has been completed. So let me just go ahead and get the output of that. And after that, I'll explain you what exactly is happening over here. All right, so we did get an output out of that. So what's happening over here is, as you guys can see at the top, it just initialized the account number, balance, and account holder. Those values are exactly written over here, which is one, two, three, four for account number. 1000 is account balance, and the name account holder is John. And after that, it just printed the account number for us. And after that, it just deposit 500 to that 1000 balance, which will increase then after to 1500, which is written over here. Then it will uh, basically withdraw 200 out of the total balance that we have. So 1500 minus 200 will be 1300. That's exactly written in our output over here. 
and after that at the end we will print the command to check account balance check balance return over here so which at the end was 1300 so yeah that was basically a quick examples of how you can not only uh you know use github copilot just to uh, solve little chunks of your code just to solve little problems but you can also uh, use github copilot to solve daily life problems with entire code in that so yeah that was basically a few of the examples just to show you guys the efficient working and the whole process of github copilot so yeah that was basically it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care bye bye